All right, guys, welcome to the garage. Uh, too hot outside today, it's 35 degrees outside, so uh, I thought I'd make up a um, aircraft tug. Um, just a bit of a weekend project, just to, just to move our aircraft around. Got three in the hangar and um, it's pushing uphill a little bit uh, on grass, so trying to make it easier for ourselves. So uh, just cut up all the steel, uh, ground it all ready for welding. It's going to be driven by a winch, winch motor. I'm going to modify the winch motor. So this is the wheel cradle. Um, so you need to just tack all this together. Day two of the build, and uh, I've just got the frame made up for the wheel, for the drive motor, and uh, just cut these slide pads. So they're actually gonna uh, go there like that and pivot, and they'll pivot underneath here. So this is the um, carriage section. So that ends day two of the build. Um, we've got it on wheels and running. I've got the battery hooked up, the motor's hooked up. So there's a motor in here with a pulley and a V-belt drive. Running with just a battery. The battery's flat at the moment, but it still runs it. This here is gonna be uh, where it automatically latches, so that's going to tilt, tilt down. The wheel will run up, and it will uh, latch itself on here. This will also pivot this way as well. I've got uh, nylon slide pads here, um, so we'll see how it all works. I've also got. Some nylon slide pads on here um, so it can turn so you can actually turn it uh, with a big 16 mil bolt through the middle so you can actually turn the whole thing so that's it running along not sure if it's a bit too slow yet but uh, if I want to speed it up I can change this pulley here to a smaller one, this one here, uh, to speed it up a little bit. But uh, I'll try it out. I'll try it out as it is and see how it is. So um, Alright, just out at the hangar, just going to try the tug that I've made. Uh, we'll see if it's going to pull my cruiser uh, into the hangar. This is it here. Still got to paint it, but I just want to try it all out before I uh, um, go ahead and paint it. So this here should tip forward to run the wheel up and then uh, latch it in place. And then uh, should be able to pull it up, hopefully. So we'll see, see how it all goes. There's a fair few weeds here, but you can see it's quite a, uh, quite a steep grade going up so it's it's quite uphill so it makes it tough to pull a plane up the hill so which is why i've made one of these so yeah let's see see if we can make it happen first attempt failed i actually had a belt drive running this the v belt pulleys on here this little 
pulley would actually spin no matter how tight I tighten the belt. Um, so we're going to chain drive. So I've just cut the pulley off and put this chain sprocket on uh, and drilled and tapped the back of that pulley where I originally welded the other one and uh, countersunk it too so it all fits in and that should line up in there like, uh, like the other one did and I've also got a sprocket for the back so I'm going to replace that pulley on there with a sprocket and put a chain on it. Uh, I went to try and get some from a bolt shop don't actually have the right length uh, in stock so we're going to make our own um, got to go through here I've got a lock nut for one end I'm going to weld a bulge on this end so it won't go through there and just uh, cut a slot with the um, Dremel and uh, so we can use it on a flat screwdriver and tighten it up so improvising So that's how it's going to work. This is the drive uh, to disengage and engage uh, for neutral or drive. Just welded a bulge on the end of that so it doesn't go through the shaft. Uh, cut a slot in that for a flathead screwdriver. A bit crude but got me out of trouble. A uh, bit of oil thread. Now it's the right length and uh, let's put it back together. Here's the new bolt. This is the old bolt and the new bolt and the modified chain drive that I've modified. So old bolt, new bolt. I just welded the end of that just to make it longer and goes in in there like that with a slot for the screwdriver so yeah a bit crude but yeah it does the job what i had was uh one drive motor at the back driving this back wheel and uh, the minute you start to go uphill on grass it starts to spin this back wheel so change of plans i've gone now with two drive motors so i've got a one horsepower motor on each so i've got two horsepower of drive motors driving the back wheels so we're just going to put it back together today and uh, we'll give it a try guys out at the hangar and let's give this tug a go see how it works I've got my plane sitting out there and Josh is sitting there so we'll give it a go at pulling them both in So success, it pulls it up. Now to just get it off, just undo the winch and just drive it out underneath and uh, it should be good. That's awesome. Pulled both planes in, uh, no issues whatsoever. Same deal with this one to remove it. All I do is undo that strap from the winch and just unlock it, pull it out. All 
All right, so big success. I'm happy with that. Uh, biggest thing is if it doesn't work the first time, just keep going, keep trying uh, different things until you get it right, until it works. So this is it, all working fine. I'm happy with that. So if you like these videos or the other ones, uh, hit the like button and subscribe and uh, ring that bell and we'll catch you on the next one.